What's up everybody? John from Old Reading Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, we're actually gonna talk about a very exciting project that we're doing inside our house. Uh, we're gonna be redoing our entire kitchen, which is about time, because this place, the place was abandoned for eight years before we bought it, and the kitchen was very old and it's like really difficult to use. Um, but so before we get into it, this is a video that Kat filmed, I think two weeks ago, or at least a week ago. And if you've been following us on Instagram recently, you have probably seen that Kat had a little bit of a health scare. She got her wisdom teeth taken out on a Friday, and then she ended up being admitted to the hospital on Wednesday morning with a serious abscess in her throat. And uh, anyway, everyone's okay, but I just wanted to give you some context just in case you saw <laughs> those posts and were wondering why Catherine was speaking so great and uh, was <laughs> apparently doing so great it's because she filmed this before uh, all of that actually happened. And we'll be probably doing a video to talk about it because it was such a big experience for us. It's been a tough week. Um, but I'm actually out here, picked up uh, some hay in my dump trailer and uh, new sawmills almost ready to go, although it's been very frustrating. But anyway, let's cut to Catherine talking about our kitchen. Thanks. Hey, what's up you guys? Cap from Old Reading Farm. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we are in our kitchen and this will probably end up being a bonus video because most of you probably don't care about kitchen design, renovation plans. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you around our current kitchen because we have just signed a contract with a kitchen remodeling company in the area and we are going to be renovating this entire kitchen and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why. So let's get it. Okay, so behind me is a bunch of completely dead and wasted space. So there's an island right here and on this side of the island I mean, there's enough space that if I'm touching these windows, I can't reach this peninsula. So there's a lot of space and it's useless. Um, so basically those windows in the back, they are too low down to the ground to run a countertop past them. So I'm assuming that like a regular person would have like a kitchen eating table in there, but there's also this peninsula where we have stools. So let me show you that right now. So I don't know why you would need a peninsula where you can fit four stools comfortably and then also have an eating table here. It just, this space doesn't make any sense to me and it's always driven me absolutely crazy because our house is not that big. Our living room is over that way and there is one bedroom upstairs and there's a bathroom upstairs and that's literally it. There's, so what's that? A kitchen, a living room, a bedroom, and a bathroom. There's only four rooms in this house. So to have this huge space that's just like wasted is totally crazy. So we're gonna completely reimagine this entire kitchen space and make it like a lot more functional we're gonna get more storage because I wanna show you what's going on with the storage currently. So currently for cabinets, we have two. We have this free-floating monstrosity. Peanut's in with us. Hey, Peanut. Okay, so current free-floating monstrosity. There's four drawers there, but this cabinet is old. It looks like it was found on the side of the road and it is very hard to open. And then this cabinet, which is where we put like food storage. And then there's these. So there's two drawers there two cabinets under the sink storage, one more drawer and one more cabinet. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drawers in this entire kitchen and one, two, three, four cabinets. And then there's that. All right, so there's this thing behind us. These shelves are made out of wood and it's where, so all those jars we use as our drinking glasses, then there's like some food storage and then we put our plates right here. But below that, it's just like rock. Um, and that shelf goes right into our garage. So that shelf area is very cold. So one thing we're gonna do is close this off. We're gonna turn it into like a regular wall. We're going to bump that door, which walks into our garage out. So there's not this like big, See, this is like over a foot from here to here. I'm gonna put the door on the outside so that way it's more flat. And then this whole wall is going to be made just like one flat normal wall. 
we're gonna redo the doors, the two doors, and all the windows in this room. This window is gonna be replaced into a slider, and these two windows are gonna be shrunk down so they start higher up. That way, a countertop can run by. Let me show you the kitchen plan. This is a big portion of it. Okay, so this is the entire kitchen plan. This here is an aerial view of the whole kitchen. Pardon this, I spilled hot chocolate on this the very first second I got it home. So in the corner where our fridge currently is, is where our fridge is gonna stay, but it's gonna turn and face the other direction, and then next to it, a cabinet. So here's that in like the, you know, looking at it view. So the fridge, and we're gonna have a cabinet above it, and it'll live in one of these house things, and that's the cabinet right next to it. And then this is the long stretch where our stove currently is. So this first thing, and then this is the like, you know, looking at it sideways view, so we'll go in order. So this is gonna be a big pantry, skinny cabinet, thick cabinet with a drawer, and that's the window that's currently right above the stove. And then we'll do two sets, oh, peanut. Okay, so cabinet, two sets of drawers on either side of the stove with a new hood. And then this is the window that's on that wall. It's just gonna be cabinet. And then going back up here, so it's stove, cabinet, cabinet. This cabinet is gonna have drawers in it. That's what that 2RT means. And then this is the corner. So there's not gonna be a cabinet in here. It's just gonna be a countertop. And then it's gonna be sink, dishwasher, little overhang. So that's over here. So sink, dishwasher, little overhang. So we'll put a stool under this overhang so that John can hang out with me in the kitchen while I cook. So this is the plan for the new kitchen. So that's basically the plan on what's happening. We're also redoing the floors in the whole downstairs. We've already replaced floors upstairs because when we moved in, upstairs was just plywood subflooring. I'm guessing that at some point there was probably carpeting down and that was ripped up before we bought the house because my guess was it was pretty gross. So this is the flooring I picked out. It's um, uh, not, it's not, it is laminate, right? This is a laminate flooring. It's nice and thick though. It is a floating floor. Um, it is from Lowe's. So if you like it, it's called Winter Park. It's on sale right now. And then underneath the wood stove, see that's our wood stove, right? Right there. Oh gosh, that looks like pepper. Where? There. There's our wood stove. So underneath that, we're going to put this. So this is what these look like together. Pretty nice, right? I think those are super cute. Um, right now, there is a poll up on our community tab asking for your help picking out our countertops. I went countertop shopping at a place sort of near me. <laughs> Not that near me. Um, so if you would like to vote on countertops, I am going to look at appliances and I'm not sure if I want stainless steel or if I want the black steel, not like black, black, but like there's a black stainless steel. Um, so I'm going to go try to make that decision and I will probably be putting a poll up when I am tile shopping for backsplash because I love backsplashes. Um, I think that's like one place where you can do something really interesting. So, okay, sorry if this video wasn't our normal content, but I did wanna have like a before look around of our existing kitchen. There is not a lot of counter space. There is like basically no storage in here and it's all just like really, really weird and chopped together. Um, the stove is just like sitting in the middle of a wall. There's no cabinets on either side of it. So when I'm cooking, I'm needing to like reach for things. And like if something splashes, it splashes on like the wall behind the stove instead of splashing onto like the countertop where you can just wipe it up. This, <laughs> this kitchen, we've lived here for like three years. So I've lived with it for a while and I'm sick of it. So we're going to renovate it. So I'll do one more little look around to show you what you can say goodbye to. And then hopefully, I mean, it's probably going to be the windows and the doors we have ordered, this door eventually is gonna hopefully go out onto a deck. Right now, let me show you. Right now, if you open this door, you would fall down like, this is probably like a four foot drop. I believe there used to be a deck here and it probably fell down at some point. So I don't know, like 
that's pretty weird. So hopefully someday we would like redo a deck and there is the chicken porch is right over around that corner. So it would be nice if we could connect them and sort of have a wraparound porch. Because we do wanna stop keeping chickens on our porch. That's like one of our farm goals. Um, we're gonna turn the bus into like a chicken brooder. That way we don't have chicks in our living room and chicks on our porch. So that's the plan. So let me show you one more little spin around. Say goodbye, awful kitchen behind me. Goodbye, goodbye. So um, as we get some renovations going, we'll give you maybe some updates and keep an eye on the community tab. This video will probably come out like days and days after that poll went up for the kitchen countertops. And I would guess that by the time this video goes live, that decision will already be made. So, you know, there's already been 43 people voted. I put it up last night and I didn't really say anything about it. So go ahead and vote on your countertop. Hopefully the one that's winning now, I do believe is the one that I will go with because it's got like a very high percentage of the votes right now. So go check that out if you want to get a little tip on what's coming. There's one more few of things that need to change. See this, this is a trap door that goes into our basement. And I mean, these floors, they're cool, but they're really hard to keep clean. And look at how squishy this is. I'm not sure if you can tell. Oh yeah, there, look, you can really see it there. So when you step on these boards in this area, there's definitely something going on under here. It's just like it's a little bit dangerous. Like someday you might just go crashing through this trap door. And whenever people are in our kitchen, they're like, what is that? I'm like, oh, it's a trap door. We just throw the bodies down there. And I don't, like half the time when I say that, people like deadpan and they're like, and I'm just like, it's a joke. <laughs> Nobody's down there, but we're gonna get rid of that trap door. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.